So if you're an adult with hair, you should not be using baby shampoo. Let me explain. A really common question I get in my Mannered Man's hair growth community, which you guys should definitely come join if you're on your hair or beard growth journey, or if you just want healthy hair in general. But the question is, guys asking something like, I don't wanna use a shampoo with harsh chemicals, but I still wanna shampoo my hair. Is baby shampoo okay to use? And a lot of the comments are usually like, oh yeah, absolutely, go for it. And I'm here to say no. Stop, don't use baby shampoo. Why am I saying that? To explain why you shouldn't use baby shampoo, I need to explain the importance of shampoo pH which if you've seen any of my videos in the past where I've talked about the importance of pH and what it does in your shampoo and to your hair, then you guys can skip this part, right? Jump one to two minutes ahead in the video and I'll tell you why for baby shampoo to get to the good part. But if you don't know anything about pH and shampoo levels, let me explain really fast. So pH stands for potential of hydrogen, which basically measures the concentration of hydrogen ions in a solution. So pH is measured on a scale from zero to 14, with water being perfectly balanced at seven. So if something is acidic, it has a lot of hydrogen ions and it will measure between zero and 6.9. If something is alkaline or basic, it'll have a lot of negatively charged hydroxide ions and it will measure between 7.1 and 14. So when they're perfectly balanced in equilibrium, then that's sort of where water lies. But sometimes water can disassociate through auto ionization and too many hydrogen ions or too many hydroxide ions are present in a solution, then that's where you get acidity, alkalinity. And to what degree that happens, is measured on the pH scale. I'm gonna bring this back to hair in a second, stay with me. The next definition to understand is isoelectric point. So this is simply the pH level at which the net electrical charge of something is neutral. And this is really important for hair. So our hair has a pH level of 3.67 and our scalp has a pH level of five and a half. While it may be acidic on the pH scale relative to water, the isoelectric point for hair is around 3.67. Meaning that any products that you use that are more alkaline than roughly between three and five and a half pH to account for your hair and your scalp will give a negative static charge to your hair. So there was a study done that proved this that in September 2014, it measured how shampoo pH can affect your hair. So the study's conclusion was, and I'm quoting here, an alkaline pH, and this is an alkaline pH relative to your hair, by the way, may increase the negative electrical charge of the hair fiber surface, therefore increasing friction between the fibers. This can lead to cuticle damage, fiber breakage. So it's really important and not a myth that low shampoo pH causes less frizzing, generates less negative static charge between the fibers and gives you overall healthier hair. So enter baby shampoo. Shampoo, shampoo, let's shampoo our hair. There was a 2015 paper in the Advanced Wound Care Journal that talks about skin physiology in infants. Now it's a really long paper, I'm not gonna go through it all, but the important part, if you scroll about halfway down, it talks about a baby's skin pH. And it states that infants' pH levels are much, much higher than adult skins in terms of alkalinity. On adults, it's usually between five and five and a half, but newborns have alkaline skin surfaces ranging from 6.34 to 7.5, depending on where they're taking the pH from. All baby shampoos have a neutral pH of seven, just like water. They do this for multiple reasons. First, a baby's skin pH is going to be higher than adults, so they need something to balance out their skin and their hair. And they think babies have a higher pH because of the amniotic fluid during pregnancy is quite alkaline, so the baby will come out with more alkaline skin and hair. Second, an acidic pH, like the ones that are healthy for adult shampoos, is also the reason your eyes burn, right? If a shampoo gets in your eyes, it's because it's acidic. So anything under a seven pH is going to burn your eyes, and that's not good for babies. So for babies to have tear-free shampoo, it needs to be a neutral pH at seven. So the too long, didn't wanna watch the whole video explanation, adults should not use baby shampoo because the pH is way too alkaline at seven. Johnson & Johnson and all your other baby shampoo right? It can actually do more damage than good to adult hair over time. So instead, if you're an ingredient conscious person, then check out shampoos and conditioners with clean formulas. The ones that I personally like are Odell, JVN, Goldwell, Daviness, 
These all have pHs of five and a half or lower, and they're going to help your hair stay frizz and damage free over the long term. Check out the rest of my videos where I talk about pH. I'll link to them in the description, and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.